Problem number 11. A particle travels through a three dimensional displacement given by d vector equal to 5 meter i cap minus 3 meter j cap plus 4 meter k cap. If a force of magnitude 22 Newton and with fixed orientation does work on the particle, find the angle between the force and the displacement if the change in particle's kinetic energy is 45 joules and minus 45 joules. So here we have to answer for these two questions. The first answer, we have to find the angle for the change in kinetic energy, which is equal to plus 45 joules. And then we have to find the angle for the change in kinetic energy, which is equal to minus 45 joules. So let's we write the given first. What is given in the question? The displacement vector is given by d vector, which is equal to 5 meter i cap minus 3 meter j cap plus 4 meter k cap. So they gave the displacement as a vector form. Clear. And also the applied force magnitude is given. That means the force magnitude, which is 22 Newton. And by that, we have to find the angle for 45 joules. That means change in kinetic energy for the first part, which is 45 joules. And for this, what we have to find? We have to find the angle theta. And then we have to find for change in kinetic energy, which is equal to minus 45 joules, we have to find its angle. So now for this, we have to use the rule, the work energy theorem. What is the rule for work energy theorem? As we studied, the net work done, which is equal to a change in kinetic energy. And also, we studied the formula for the work done, which is equal to Fd cosine theta. Now, what I have to do, I'm going to change this vector form of the displacement into the magnitude form, as we already studied how to find the magnitude in chapter number three vector. So can we find the magnitude of the displacement vector? So we know the magnitude the magnitude of this d vector which is equal to square root of phi square plus minus 3 square plus 4 square so here i got the answer as 7.07 .07 meter so that means the magnitude of the displacement vector i got as 7.07 .07 meter now what we have to do we have to apply this value in the formula so we know the net work done which is equal to change in kinetic energy which is equal to fd cosine theta so i have to take this part so fd cosine theta which is equal to change in kinetic energy so far for the first part what i have to do I have to take the value for this change in kinetic energy, which is equal to positive of 45 joules. Now you have to rearrange this equation in terms of angle. Therefore, angle theta, which is equal to cosine inverse of change in kinetic energy divided by F multiplied by D, right? because we already have the force magnitude as well as the displacement magnitude, or I can just write as a magnitude form by that it will be very clear. Now I'm going to substitute the value. So cosine inverse of 45 joules divided by the force applied is 22 Newton, which is already given in the question. And then the displacement vector, we find magnitude as 7.07 meter here I got the answer here as 73.18 degree. So this is the answer for the first part. Likewise, we have to find the answer for the second part. So by that we have to substitute the change in kinetic energy value is minus 45 joules. Let's we see what is the answer for the same method. So second part, we have to substitute the kinetic energy change is minus 45 joules. So I have to use the same rule. 
theta which is equal to cosine inverse of change in kinetic energy divided by the force magnitude multiplied by displacement magnitude now i am going to substitute the value so cosine inverse of minus 45 joules divided by 22 multiplied by 7.07 .07. i got the answer for the angle theta which is equal to 106.81 degree so this is the answer for the second part that's it thank you